Thank you for your purchase of the Arizona Mini Cobra software program to administer Senate Bill 1217. The software is designed to be installed on your computer or server and is not a web-based program. Before we can demonstrate the software, you will need to have an understanding of this new law. The law takes effect on the date your medical insurance plan renews after December 31, 2018. So if your plan does not renew until July 2019, you will not want to produce any letters with the software until then. What does Senate Bill 1217, commonly known as Arizona Mini Cobra, require? It mandates Arizona small groups to offer employees and their covered dependents the right to continue their group insurance for 18 months when they experience a qualifying event. If they elect to continue, they would be responsible for the group rate plus a 5% administration fee. Who is eligible for Arizona Mini Cobra? Well, both employees and or covered dependents may become eligible. They must have been on the insurance plan for a minimum of three months, ineligible for Medicare, and experience one of the following qualifying events. The most common event is termination of employment that requires your attention. Only offer Mini Cobra to an employee whose coverage has been terminated due to a reduction in work hours. The next four events are experienced by dependents. If an employee passes away, is divorced or separated, becomes eligible for Medicare and loses coverage, or a child loses dependent status by turning age 26, they should be offered the right to continue under Arizona Mini Cobra. Anytime you will be removing someone from the group insurance plan, you will want to determine if one of these events has occurred. The law places specific notification requirements on employers. First, employers are required to provide a notice explaining the employee or dependent's right to continue coverage within 30 days. The law states that if your notice is postmarked within 44 days, it will be considered timely. If you know that a dependent lives at a different address, you will need to send a copy of the letter to that location as well. The second notice the law requires you to send is a letter detailing the insurance plan, changes, and the rates at the renewal time. This letter needs to be sent to both participants and qualifiers in their election period. Once the notices have been provided, how long does a qualifier have to elect Mini Cobra? If the notice was sent in a timely manner, qualifiers have 60 days from the date of the notice to let you know if they wish to continue their, their group coverage. If your notice has a postmark 45 days or more after the qualifying event, you must allow 120 days for the qualifier to elect Mini Cobra. Once elected, the participant will have 45 days to make their premium payment. It is not recommended you notify the insurance company of their election until they make their first payment. If timely payment is received, you will need to reinstate their coverage back to the date it was lost, meaning there should be no lapse in coverage. Can anyone increase their time frame under Mini Cobra? Yes, if a dependent experiences a divorce or legal separation, the employee's death or loss of dependent status it's considered a multiple qualifying event and they should be offered an additional 18 months under Mini Cobra. Another way to increase time under Mini Cobra is for a dependent to be deemed disabled by the Social Security Administration. So that they will have time to be placed on Medicare, the law provides an 11 month extension or a total of 29 months. The dependent must have been disabled at the time of the qualifying event provide the Social Security Administration determination within 60 days of the notification date and prior to the end of the 18 months under Mini Cobra. If they are granted the extension, the group insurance plan may charge 150% of the group rate. When does Arizona Mini Cobra end? You'll want to terminate a participant from the plan when they have reached the end of their 18 29 or 36 month continuation period. If they do not make payments in a timely fashion, 
you may terminate them back to the date their account is paid through. You will also remove them from the group plan if a participant becomes eligible for Medicare, Medicaid, or obtains other coverage. Lastly, if your firm elects to terminate the group medical plan for all employees, many COBRA participants coverage would end as well. But if you establish a new group health plan, the mini COBRA participants should be offered the right to re-enroll. The law provides additional rights to employees called to active duty. Usually when an employee is called to active duty, you remove them from the group plan as a reduction in work hours. If during or after their active duty, you terminate them, you must offer Arizona Mini Cobra again. If during active duty the employee dies, is divorced or legally separated, or experiences a loss of dependent status, the dependent should be offered Mini Cobra. If the employee elected Mini Cobra and is later terminated because they became enrolled on TRICARE, they should be offered the right to continue for a total of 18 months from when they are removed from TRICARE. So if they were on Mini Cobra for four months, and then placed on TRICARE for three years, they should be allowed to continue under the group plan for 14 months when terminated from TRICARE. As you can tell, this is a complex law for small employers. That is why COBRA Solutions, the leader in federal COBRA administration software, created a package to ease your burden. It has everything you need to stay in compliance with the law. Now that you know what the law requires, you will want to review some of the other videos to see how the software works.